Hello friends, I know college decision day just passed and I just want to congratulate you all on getting through the process. It's really not an easy one. If you're not particularly excited about the college you're going to or where you're ending up at, don't worry, neither was I. But here's how not going to a top 10 university changed my life. I'm Devanchi. Sometime around a year ago today, I found myself deciding between three colleges that weren't even on my radar six months ago. To say I was extremely sad, disappointed, and sometimes even a little embarrassed were probably major understatements. The pressure of going to a Bay Area high school inevitably led me to believe that I somehow, like the rest of my friends, would end up at a top 10 university. Month after month, I was surrounded by my friends who would get into every school on my list. And month after month, I didn't. And somehow it was the best thing that could have ever happened to me, even though it didn't feel like it at the time. High school, for me, was an endless cycle of me wanting to learn, then feeling too stupid to ask questions, eventually not learning anything, and then just sinking into the mindset that I was somehow inherently stupid. As much as I love my high school, being constantly surrounded by the brightest minds honestly kind of intimidated me and sometimes made me feel like I wasn't even worthy of learning, which is stupid because quite honestly, everyone is worthy of learning. I ended up at UC Santa Barbara and I absolutely love it. So here are four ways that not going to my dream school changed my life. Number one. I learned to slow down. The laid back environment in Santa Barbara took all the pressure off of me that I had going to a Bay Area high school. I finally felt like I had time to breathe and room to really grow. Learning how to relax made me a more together person. Surprisingly, taking the time to slow down and really enjoy every moment just made me more productive. It allowed me to form better habits in terms of school. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but taking the time to really enjoy the little things really only fueled my drive to learn. Number two, I finally learned how to ask questions without fear of judgment. It's such a nice feeling to walk into a lecture hall knowing that you have a solid grasp on the learning material. But honestly, it's an even better feeling when you know that even if you don't, you're not going to be judged by asking questions, and no question is a stupid one. A year ago, I didn't even think this kind of learning environment was possible, and had I gone to a ranking-wise better school, I don't think I could have ever learned in this extremely rewarding and gratifying way. Number three, the relaxed environment motivated me to create structure and organize my time. Taking 10 minutes every day to organize my time has enabled me to free up space for personal growth. I'm finally scheduling my life in a way that works for me. This means I can spend time making friends and joining communities and finding people that inspire me and motivate me to be better and do better. For me, this was largely my dance team, but I really can make an entire video on them later. Anyways, my point is that you will find people that nurture your growth regardless of where you end up. You just really have to put the time and effort into finding those people. Number four, and arguably the most important one, I found joy in learning again. Not going to a top 10 school has really allowed me to enjoy learning without feeling the need to constantly compare myself. My teacher once told me that my high school is an incredible institution, which it really is, but one that if you don't really fit a certain kind of mold can be extremely hindering to growth. And although this conversation a year ago was extremely comforting, I didn't really realize what it meant. But a year later, I do. I think when you grow up in an extremely competitive environment, it's only natural to take that mindset when applying and choosing colleges. But it's important to know that there's more out there. Also, just a quick disclaimer. If you are going to a top 10 college, I'm extremely proud of you. This is really to tell the people that maybe didn't get into their dream school that it's not really about what college chooses you and which college you end up at or whatever path you choose to take. It's about what resources you take advantage of and use to fuel your own growth. So if you're not going to your dream college, you're still going to learn things that you're extremely passionate about. If you put the work and time and effort in, you're still going to end up at a job you love. You get what you put in. So make sure you put your heart into whatever you do. 
So no matter where you go, just find joy in learning again. Work hard, be kind, and life will be good to you. I hope this helped. You're not alone. You're going to do amazing things. Okay, bye.